Hey everyone, today I want to talk about presentation of the family and um, and actually how we can, what is the hierarchy of 2D elements because usually in the family environment we would hide all of the actual geometry and instead of this we would draw uh, just symbolic lines or fill region or masking regions so today my focus on um, how you can draw your uh, your symbolic lines, your 2D elements and uh, what is going to take the priority and what is going to be over uh, what is going to be on top of the other one so this is what I want to talk about so let's use on two simple components we will learn any, everything about about 2D hierarchy so you can go to component or click CM so I'm going to click CM and just place this simple desk, right? So I'm going to place this desk and uh, again go with CM and do we have some sort of a chair? Okay, let me insert quickly some some chair. I'm, 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 I'm having the shortcut for inserting the family, but I'll show you how I did this. Uh, so I need to find the furniture, seating and just any chair. Let's go with this one. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna place this chair over over here. If you don't know how to insert a family, you need to go to insert and here have load family. And you can actually load any family that you want. So and uh, uh, and here I want to build also some sort of a floor with some pattern. You can go here to floor or you can set up a shortcut FL. So this is what I prefer. So let's go to this floor and change this material. Even with this, uh, like some, doesn't matter, maybe some default. Let's go with the default material. Doesn't matter, let's go with the default wall, but we need to have some, uh, some surface pattern. So let's go with this pattern and let's make the color to be like red. And the background pattern, let's make this solid with some grayish color. Go with OK, OK. And now I'm going to place this floor. And there we go. So uh, now we'll explore how everything works and what do you see over the other. If I go to 3D, actually I'm having the shortcut, but you can go, OK, you can go back and here you have this house. So that is the 3D view. Uh, here, as you can see, we have floor with this pattern, we have our chair, and we have our table. And everything seems to be logical, right? So we have our floor, then on top of this we have our table, so the pattern shouldn't be visible. And uh, like below the table we have the chair, and this portion is not visible, so that is also the way that should be and everything seems the way that actually should be but let's kind of experiment with this so let's go to that family and explore why that happens so whenever you go to your um, it's always better to build families yourself but if you're loading some of them it's not a big deal so if you want to see the representation of your family environment uh, and actually, if you want to see the way it will look in the project environment, you need to go there to the preview visibility and turn that on. So now you can see the way how that will look. And here you're having actually the detail item and that detail item was created uh, using this masking region. So let me delete that one. Let me delete that one and explore how everything works. So usually what we will do is that, let me let, let go to off, we would build all of the geometry and then we would kind of pick, kind of cross select all of them, go to visibility graphics and turn them off, turn them off in floor plan. So, so, and here we have the same thing. Now what we want to build, so let's see how that works. If you go to create and you're using annotate and you go with masking region, uh, what you really should pay attention to that 
for all of your 2D elements like symbolic lines, masking regions, you have the work plane. So actually you would think that the work plane is only for 3D elements but not, it's also for the 2D components. So now I'm on the level ground, right? So, and uh, as you can see here, we have work plane and the level for the work plane is ground floor. Let me click out of this and go to elevation. Let's go to front. So that is the ground floor. And actually, as you can see, the ground floor is below everything, right? So we have the countertop, we have some drawers, right? So, and actually, if you need to think of that, that if you have a work plane of your component, that is not just simple that we have this, you need to really leverage that option. So if you go to again to the ground floor and go to annotate and go with the masking region and let's build that masking region, right? I don't want to, you can constrain that. Let's constrain that, but it's not the point of this video to constrain something and you would usually need to be more careful because I've constrained to the actual geometry and not to the reference planes, but you need to constrain to reference planes. And uh, again, if I click OK, and if I go, go to visibility settings, I can see that that should be visible in detail level, medium and fine, and I'm OK with this. So let's load this into our project. Let's override, go to level one, and we still see the same thing. And you may ask, and what is the point of having this on the ground floor or not. Actually, for all of your, like again, 2D elements, you have the option to draw in foreground. And what does that mean? That it will actually ignore the work plane. It will show over everything. So it doesn't matter where that is located. So that by ticking that on, we're actually ignoring the work plane. So if you tick that off, and now the actual uh, work plane will matter. So if I go to load into the project and I load it here and I go to level one, as you can see what happens, let me close it off. As you can see what happens that it will actually affect the way how that represents in your floor plan because that one is located beneath uh, below the chair and on the same level with the floor, but the floor takes the priority over this one. So as you can see what happens here. So right now, if I go to the front and for example, I have this reference plane, let's give that the name like top, for example, uh, we have that name. Where is that? Okay, let's change this to my counter countertop yeah so now we have the countertop and i select i'll select my masking region like this detail item and i will go to added work plane so you can add the work plane for this and i'll pick the countertop when i pick the countertop and go and go to load into the project and override the existing version and go to level one as you can see what happened, now we're actually seeing that how that was before. And now that is actually relying on the, on the work plane that you've picked. So if I were to select the reference plane somewhere over here, that I would create a reference plane over here, I would see my table. So that is exactly how that works. So the first takeaway is to understand that your 2d elements have the uh, have uh, work planes so for each of your 2d elements you can set the work plane but to make it really have an influence you need to check off the this draw in foreground option so that how that works so this this way you can actually control the exact visibility that you want to have so, uh, and the same goes for uh, symbolic lines, but symbolic lines are a little bit, they're actually the same, but you need to understand that that, that is the line. They're not covering everything. 
So if I were to go to annotate and go with symbolic lines and just draw symbolic lines over here. And as you can see, for them, I have the work plane and I have this option draw in foreground. So I can uncheck this and go to edit work plane and I'll pick the countertop. Let's load this into our project, override the existing version, go to level one. And you may ask like, why do we see everything? Because that is just the line. So that, that is just kind of overpowering. That is just kind of having the priority on these lines. So as you can see, that chair is actually uh, so the line is winning over the chair uh, and if I go to ground floor and uh, select my 2D representation, these symbolic lines and if I were to go to edit work plane and change it to be for example on the ground floor and load this into my project and override the existing version now you can see that my lines are below the chair. So that's the way that works. So it's really important to understand this and how that works and what is the hierarchy and what takes the priority. And the same goes with chairs. So you can go and explore the same thing. So you can select everything, go to visibility. And as you can see, everything is hidden in plan so you can go to reference level, you can turn on the preview visibility and that was created using uh, using uh, actually using um, field region and here as you can see we're uh, we're having this on the work plane seat and we're not drawing this on foreground because what would happen that let me go back to my desk and delete these lines and go to annotate go to masking region and let's stick that on this foreground uh, not even let's stick that off let's stick that off let's build this there go with okay let's edit the work plane and let's go with the countertop so now if i load this into the project and uh let's override so now we have this countertop and the chair of this one shouldn't be visible, but I just want to show you how, um, how crucial it is to understand this option draw in foreground. If I take that on this draw in foreground of this chair, and if I load this and what will happen, I just want to show you before that even. So this one will take the priority. This one will take the priority over this table. So let me load this into the project and override the existing version. As you can see what happens, that it goes like as if that one is above our table, which is actually not. So you really need to understand the specific, the specific of this and you need to play with this to totally understand how everything operates. Uh, also, what, what I see what people do that when they want to actually see the pattern of the floor. So you can, uh, you can, you can create your, um, just some sort of invisible lines, you know, for your, uh, for your, uh, for your, for your field region and just draw some symbolic lines so you can have some visibility parameters uh, so you can toggle between having the pattern or not and seeing the pattern or not so you can play around with this and see what, what, what it can actually do so yeah if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and like this video and thank you for watching have a nice day